All right, so if we take a broad look at the landscape of the attitude of people towards note taking, there seem to be two major groups right now. One group is all about taking notes and cannot live without taking notes. And on the other side, we have people who are like, nah, notes are sort of pointless. So should you be taking notes or should you not be taking notes? And as much as it pains me to say it, it really depends. Of course it depends, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video probably. But the thing is that in order to answer this question properly, we have to address a number of different other questions, which collectively, hopefully, will provide you with a proper answer. Okay, so having said that, first question, is taking notes fundamentally useful? So in my research of 56 studies exploring note taking, the majority of them support and promote the notion of taking notes. There's very little ground to say that note taking is bad, but I couldn't help to notice that a lot of studies deemed note taking sort of irrelevant because it varied so much from student to student. So what gives? I think that one of the answers is in three studies that were done in 1970, 75 and 81. And in all three there were two groups of students, one taking notes, one not taking notes. And then they were all tested on the material that they studied. And all the groups of students that took notes did better than those that did not take notes. So the conclusion is that note taking is useful, right? Yes, but in the same time these studies pose a different question, which is is not taking enough. So here's the thing, if we take a closer look in these studies, we'll find out something else very interesting. First, if you take a closer look in the studies from 1975 and 81, you see that the students then perform better than the students from 1970. That's not a coincidence, and it's also not because humanity all of a sudden got smarter in like five to ten years from the first studies. But the students from the later research were tested immediately after studying, while the students from the earlier research were tested one week later after studying, so the delay is what makes the difference. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is that even the results of students who took notes weren't that impressive. I mean, being able to recall 50% of the things that you studied is okay compared to 10 or 15%, but it's not that impressive compared to 90% and more. Now imagine that when you're studying, you're striving for 90% or more. So it seems that although note taking is useful, it's not sufficient if you want to maintain things long term, and it's not sufficient if you want to get the maximum out of your study. Studies. But, and this is the big moment here, if you're smart about it, you can use your notes and note taking as a foundation to get the most out of your studies. And this seems to be connected to two things. First, how you take notes, and then what do you actually do with them? First, let's talk about how you take notes. Do you take long, exhaustive notes, or do you take short and concise notes? Well, a study from 1977 followed 12 different courses and it showed something very interesting. Of all the information presented during lectures, students never managed to capture everything that was deemed important, especially if they were trying to write down things in detail. So instead of trying to write everything down, because apparently that's not really helpful, train yourself to take notice, pun intended, take notice of the important things. In other words, start creating thorough outlines when studying. So it's an outline, but it's thorough, and it's thorough, but it's an outline. And this leads us to the next question, which is, well, now that you have these useful notes, well, what do you do with them? Well, according to another research, at this time from 2013, there are a number of good things that you can do. And the two best things are to, one, test yourself on what you know, and then two, keep on testing what you know and revisit the content over time. And if you've been taking notes the way that we discussed, another study from 2019 shows that if you're trying to recall information from an outline, although it may seem a little bit more uneasy, it's actually more beneficial to learning than trying to recall information from detailed notes. And of course, once you test yourself, you want to check what you got wrong, what you got right, and now you expand on what you've been studying. Now you get the details and develop your knowledge further then keep on testing yourself, not every day, but spaced in time. And whenever you revisit the content, don't just reread it, but again, try to actively recall things, either by writing or by verbally explaining things, either to yourself or again to someone else, it all works. All right, so based on the studies that are out there and the things that I presented to you just now, I think that it's safe to say that taking notes gets a yes, as long as you do it in a smart way and you don't rely on just rereading things later on, but use your notes as a stepping stone to proper studying. And that is all I have for you for this one. Thank you sincerely for watching, keep it bright, and I'll see you next time.